It's been around one year since I first got my hands on the Galaxy S23 and during this time this device has been fantastic in many ways. In my view, the Galaxy S23 stands out as the best compact phone of 2023. In this video, I'll be doing a long term review and sharing my experience with this phone. The Samsung Galaxy S23 is a compact device made of glass and aluminum therefore it looks and feels amazing on the front. It has minimal bezels all around with just a small camera cut out with the middle frame being just a bit curved on the front and back this device is flat and because it is so holding it in the hand is very comfortable the glass on the back is matte and it doesn't attract fingerprints at all during this time I use the S23 without a case but so far it is holding up very well without getting scratches. Since it is such a small device it is easy to hold it with one hand the S23 is also IP68 dust and water resistant and this last summer I used it many times for taking pictures while swimming. If you are tired of big smartphones then the Galaxy S23 is perfect for you. This device has a 6.1 inch display with a full HD resolution. Although compact phones these days aren't as compact as they used to be in 2024, the S23 is one of the smallest in the industry. The display of this phone is compact only with its size. Since all of its other specs are flagship level first of all, it is a dynamic AMOLED panel so colors are extremely vibrant and pleasing for the eyes watching content on this phone is just a joy even though everything is smaller compared to. Other devices besides that the S23 has a 120Hz refresh rate so everything is very smooth. It does also get very bright outside and no matter the condition outside the S23 is always perfectly visible features in recent years Samsung has done an incredible job by pushing software updates earlier than most of the competition and the fact that it will be updated for at least 3 more years make the S23 3 a future proof investment. Another area where this phone shines is with performance that's because it is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 which was the flagship processor of 2023. The S23 can handle everything you throw at it even heavy games are no problem for this phone. In prior years I only had Exynos Samsung phones but after trying the S23 the difference in performance has been insane. The base storage of the S23 is 128 GB which is the model I have here. Now normally I wouldn't get this storage option but since I have many phones I don't really need more storage for my secondary devices. If you are planning to buy the S23 I would advise you to get the 256 GB model because external storage isn't available the RAM is limited to 8 GB but to be honest I've never felt the need for more. Occasionally I leave some apps open in the background for several days and when I revisit them later they are just the way I left them. Now let's shift our focus to the cameras where the S23 is almost a complete package on the back it has a triple lens setup the main one is 50 megapixels the ultra wide is 12 megapixel and the telephoto is 10 megapixel. The main camera is simply amazing in daylight, it takes awesome pictures with excellent dynamic range and plenty of sharpness, its colors are vivid and ready to be posted on social media this camera is also one of the best. When it comes to low light pictures are bright and details are preserved in every situation. The ultra wide camera is also great just like the main camera it takes vivid pictures with well retained details it doesn't have a macro mode like the S23 ultra. But to be honest that feature is just a gimmick since macro pictures are much better with the telephoto lens which has a 3x optical zoom. This lens is also really good but the dynamic range is slightly weaker compared to the other cameras. What I like about this particular lens is the digital zoom. If you go up to 10x the S23 is almost just as good as the S23 Ultra which has a dedicated 10x periscope lens. 
The Galaxy S23 C is also a very reliable device when it comes to portrait skin colors are mostly accurate and edge detection is usually great when it comes to videos the S23 can record up to 8K at 30s but for the best results I would advise you to stick at 4K with this resolution. Stabilization is amazing and the dynamic range is excellent on the front the S23 has a 12 megapixel camera and it too is very reliable in daylight and in low light when taking selfies faces are very detailed with great colors. This camera can record up to 4K at 60 FPS and it is one of the best for creating content overall I have been very happy with the cameras of the S23 and I am sure if you get this device you will be happy too. The battery life of the S23 has been very good to me with normal usage it lasts me more than a day there were cases when I used it a lot more and it drained the battery within a day but considering its size I would say that the S23 is a safe choice charging. On the other hand isn't as good since it is stuck at 25 watts wireless charging and wireless power share are also present but I barely use these features since they are very slow. The main way to unlock the S23 is with the ultrasonic in display fingerprint scanner. This scanner is fast and very reliable. My thumb isn't usually in the best condition, but this device a good job on recognizing it. A face scanner is also present and even though it is only 2D, I always use it alongside the fingerprint. It might not be as secure as face ID, but for me it has been quick and reliable. So what are my final thoughts about this device and do I recommend getting it like I said in the beginning the S23 is the best compact phone of the year it has a premium build quality a modern display reliable camera as a powerful processor and a solid battery life. It is more pocket friendly and its battery life is solid when I need to use it. If you have the Galaxy S23 let me know your experience in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and for more content like this please consider subscribing to my channel.